Wall Street Journal, Monday, April 22nd, 2022. Insights. U.S. News, Union Aid Gains in the South After Tennessee Win by Chris Maha and Arian Campo Flores. The United Auto Workers' first ever victory uh, at a foreign automaker in South Marks, a momentous gain for unions in a region that traditionally has been hostile to organized labor and is now in the midst of a manufacturing boom. The win in the face of stiff oppositions from six other governors have said, Uni, Union on Nazi-ation would impair jobs and future investment is expected to trigger fiercer battles between, between organizers and elected officials and others resistant to their campaigns. The business community in right-to-work southern states has largely been immune to sustained, well-funded organizing drives said Michael Lotito, co-chair of the Workplace Policy Institute at LITA, a law firm uh, that advises employers on labor issues. It seems those days may be coming to an end. The UAW succeed, succeeded Friday in organizing about 4,300 workers at the Volkswagen plant in Catanooga, Tennessee, within 73% of workers who cast ballots Union officials said the wins showed the UAW's stronger position after securing pay rises in last year's strikes at the big three automakers, as well as greater receptivity to unions, especially among younger workers. Labor leaders said they hope to capitalize on the momentum a test will come next month where, when about 5,000 workers at the Mercedes-Benz plant near Tuscaloosa, LA, Alabama are expected to vote on whether to join the UAW. One of the things that history, te history, teacher, history teachers yeah, teaches us is that organizing is a little bit contagious, said Christian Sweeney, deputy organization director from the AFL-CIO. Workers in the South are saying, wait a minute, we're working for wi widely profitable companies. Other cautions that organizers still face substantial hurdles in the South. The UAW's victory in Catanooga was a third try after initially losing about there's there a decade ago. The South has a very strong tradition of independence among workers, said Arthur Whedon, director of labor studies at the Cornell University School of Industrial and Labor Relations. Tennessee Governor B. Lee and five other Southern governors warned in a letter that the unionization's drive would harm the region's economic growth to lead to layoffs. We have a responsibility to our constituents to speak up when we see special interests looking to come into our states and threaten our jobs and the value we live by. The governor's wrote, a successful unionization's drive will stop this growth and strikes Automakers invested billions of dollars in new factories in states such as Georgia, Kentucky, and Tennessee, accelerating the industry's move to the south. Hyundai Motors revealed plans to, in 2022 to build a, a $5.5 billion manufacturing complex for electricity for electric vehicles in Georgia. Ford said in 2021 that it plans to create a $5.6 billion campus in Tennessee to make EV, EVs and batteries. Southern states also attract EV battery factories, semiconductor plants, and other manufacturing industries. QSES, a unit of South Korean conglomerate, conglomerate How Hangwa Group, said last year it will spend $2.5 billion to build an entire solar manufacturing supply chain in Georgia. The states have worked for decades to lure manufacturers by creating workforce training programs preparing land for potential factory sites, touting lower electricity rates, appealing to electric vehicle makers because of their large energy needs, and offering robust incentive packages. An additional draw the promise of low labor costs in southern so-called right to work, to work states under such laws, workers aren't required to join 
a union as a condition of employment. The union membership rates in Tennessee was 6% of workers in 2023, compared with a 10% overall in the U.S., according to Bureau of Labor Statistics data. In Georgia, the figure was 4.6, while in South Carolina, it was 2.3%. Southern officials have argued that workers are better off having direct relationship with employers without interference from unions. The model down here is working, said Georgia Governor Brian Kemp last week in an, in an interview with CNBC. One of Labor's biggest wins in the South came from 2008 when the United Foods and Commercial Workers won a continuous 15 years campaign to organize 5,000 workers at a Smith, Smithsville's hog processing plant in Tar Heel, South Carolina. Last year, the United Steel Workers organized 1,400 workers at Georgia bus, bus manufacturer Bluebird and said it was the biggest win at the manufacturing plant in the region in 15 years. It's a different place where the where you organize, said Gay Hanson, a labor leader who lives in Catanooga sitting in strong opposition from the state's governor and other politicians, but she said she, she has noticed a change in some workers' views about unions as they, as they see their counterparts to another com company's win big pay rises. Workers are starting to think for themselves, said Hanson, who worked for many years at the Tennessee Valley Authority and now is secretary treasurer of the International Federation of Professional and Technical Engineers. Now the images, union membership in 2023 by states, these are the states.